Hey, Ben Aarons here, co-founder of Reorigin, where we teach you how to reclaim your health by retraining your brain. And today I want to talk to you about something super important, which is the power of community. Now, first, let me start off by saying that I was not always a community or group type of person. When I grew up as a kid, I was always more of a loner. I enjoyed spending time learning solo sports and things like juggling and weird activities. But as I've gotten older, I have really come to value and experience a lot of the benefits of being part of a group of people who are like-minded, supportive, and basically all trying to move forward in the same way that you are. So for that reason, uh, among many others, we started the Reorigin Community, which is a neuroplasticity program and community in an app that helps you to reclaim your health by retraining your brain. So let's get into what today are gonna to be my top five reasons to consider joining an online community if you are interested in healing, recovery, neuroplasticity, or basically making enduring progress in any area of life. So let's get into it. Okay, reason number one to join a community is mirror neurons. Yes, we have these things called mirror neurons that allow us to read other people's facial expressions, gestures, and basically capitalize on the benefits of other people's positive feelings simply by being in their presence. You may have experienced this if you've seen someone give you a great smile, how it floods your system with these feel-good hormones and chemicals like serotonin and dopamine. So just seeing someone else smile or seeing someone else relax and take a deep breath or make headway toward their goal can feed back into our brain and actually trigger the release of hormones and chemicals that make it feel like we are making that progress too, which actually can then make it easier for us to take steps in that direction because it's kind of like that pathway has been forged. Number two is accountability. Now, a recent research study in the American Society of Training and Development actually showed that when you're part of a group and you have a regular appointment, say like a weekly check-in for accountability, your chances of succeeding with whatever it is you're trying to do increase by 95%, which is huge. Number three is connection. Lots of research and studies have been done into blue zones. These are territories in the world that have the highest rate of centenarians, people that live to be over 100, and also the best longevity, health, and happiness. So it isn't only in these regions that people are living longer lives, but they seem to be happier, healthier, more vital. And in these research studies, when they analyze their diet, their location, the air, all of these different things in the environment, they found that it was completely different from one region to the next. And the one thing that all of them had in common, the X factor to good health and longevity, was community. This sense of belonging to something greater than yourself and contributing to something with a greater purpose. There's even a well-known rule in survival schools called the rule of three, which basically says that we can go for three minutes without oxygen, we can go for three days without water, we can go for about three weeks without food, and we can go for about three months without community. Now, I found it so interesting that this last bit about community was included in survival schools, where they teach people how to not just thrive, but even stay alive, that they found that this community, being part of a group of other people, is actually essential to our livelihood, to our lives and our vitality. And the fourth reason to join a community is cell biology. Bear with me. Now, think of your body as a collective organism made up of a bunch of different cells and systems. If I were to take, this is a weird example, but if I were to take a few skin cells off my hand, right, scratch them off and place them on the table, within a few minutes they would begin to die because they're no longer participating in this bigger organism. And then imagine if I could quickly put those skin cells back onto my, onto my arm, rub them into my hand. What would happen is they would instantly be infused with all of the vitality, energy, and resources needed to fulfill their role in the larger organism. So sometimes when we turn to organic systems or even things like cell biology, it gives us the sense that we as human beings are actually kind of cells of a larger system, a community, an ecosystem, an environment, and a society. And so when we feel removed or isolated from that larger organism, as Johan Harari mentioned in his book, Lost Connections, we can tend to feel lost. We tend to lose our sense of self, our sense of function, and even our sense of direction. And so simply by being part of a group, we can actually feel more, more tapped in, more tuned in, and more energized to um, contribute to this greater organism that we're part of. 
And the fifth reason to join a community is that it supports bold action. Novelty, that's to say doing things differently than we've done before, we know is one of the keys to neuroplasticity. If we want to make a lasting change to our brain, to our health, to our behavior, or really any aspect of life, we have to simply introduce things that for a time feel uncomfortable. And sometimes when we start doing that, the fear of falling or misstepping or failing can make it difficult for us to even just get started. But research is very clear that when you are part of a group of people that you feel supported by, you feel like they have your back, that sense of consequence uh, drops so low that just getting started becomes easier. We're no longer worried about what if I fall or what if I fail because I know I have people there to pick me back up. So what is your interest in brain retraining? Have you tried a brain retraining program or community? What questions do you have? Let me know in the comments below. I always read all the comments. Looking forward to getting back to you. And if you're interested to check out our community, you can visit the link in the description below. That's re-origin.com. And you can hop on an info call with myself or one of our coaches and see if our brain retraining community would be a good fit for you.